This one is going to be a special video today. If you've been around for a while, you would have known that I actually unboxed a fake Xbox One X, but this one here is actually a fake PS4 Pro that boasts it can do 4K wireless controls and all of those shenanigans. I found it on AliExpress for 40 quid or about 60 bucks, but I think you can also get this on Amazon. Well, I've seen it on there from a couple of sellers, so there are links below if any of you are interested. Now, I haven't played with this yet, so I have no idea what to expect. This is how it came, and I'm basically gonna show the unboxing experience, which I don't think is gonna be any good, uh, show you what the console looks like, and then show you if it actually works. And apparently, this has 600 retro classic games built in as well, oh boy. So they have just chucked this in here. Uh, they've got, oh my God, looks like an Apple wall adapter there. Admittedly, it's a UK three pin, so fair play to that. You've got your HDMI. Um, okay, you've got, what are these? Oh boy, here are the controllers. Now I saw this on their, uh, their pictures. We'll, we'll get all this out and I'll show you. So it does come with two controllers. Uh, and here, what's this? What is this? Okay, so that's your power adapter. And then the console itself in not so protective packaging. So this is what it looks like. This is the console itself. As you can tell, it's a lot smaller than the PS4 Pro, but it's definitely taken some design aspects um, for example, you've kind of got that free stage uh, look to it. Uh, you've got the two USBs on the front, but that's probably like, let's take a look at the back. Okay, so you've got your AV output, your power in, your SD card. So in fact, this does play certain ROMs. So you get your Game Boy Advance ROM, your SNES, your NES, and I think the Sega Mega Drive as well. So you do get uh, a handful of... Um, built-in ROMs in here as well, actually. So, and your HDMI out, and then you've got the bottom here, which, oh boy, what's this? Is that, oh God, oh no. That USB is pretty loose there. And then you've got your power on button. So that's the console. Um, we'll get back to that in a minute. And then you've got the controllers. I'm digging the controllers. Now I did see these in the images and they're actually wireless as well. I don't think they come with any batteries. No, no batteries. So that's a bit of a shame. But like, I've got the PS4 controller. Obviously this has taken the design aspect from a PS1 and the old school PS2. Uh, but you can tell that they've kept the color combos in order as well. You know, like, the, it's, it's very light. It's very cheap, you know. I don't know what to say about this. And then you get your cables and that, so. I guess like, let's see, like it's super light. It, there isn't much to this at all, but apparently it's got 600 games built in. You've got your TV out, your HDMI. So it should technically work straight into the HDMI. So let's uh, change shot. I'll take you into the living room now and we'll plug this in and see if it actually plays a decent amount of games. So in fact, I don't know if you saw that there, that does say data frog. So if you do search for this, it's called the Data Frog TV Game Console. So uh, let's switch cameras and let's take this into the living room and see what games it has built in and if it can play ROMs from an SD card. Okay, so it seems to be working. Moderate game, beneficial brain, reasonable arrangement of time. They were just random words on that screen then. Okay, so, right, from what I can tell, the menu has GBA, NES, Sega, SNES, MAME. I probably should, oh, the controller needs to sync. So it seems like the main menu here. So let's go through the Game Boy Advance games. These are the games already pre-built into the console. So when you buy the console, this is what you get. Super Mario 1, The King Fighters, Dynasty Warriors, Crash Bandicoot 2, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, wait, 
Virgin Rubino, that's definitely not English. That's uh, Emerald, sorry, that's Japanese. Sword of Mana, Summon Knight. Arkanoid World, Sokoban, Super Donkey Kong, Zookeeper DX, Tetris, Castlevania, Harry Potter and the Chambers of Secret, Street Ball, Dragon Ball Z. All right, so how many has it got? It's got Legend of Zelda, the mini games, mini, the minish, the mini cup, the mini cup. Uh, you see, I don't think many of these. So all the big ones look like they're not in English, which is disappointing. So. It has 53 Game Boy Advance ROMs. What have I done? I've accidentally started that. So I think if I press both at the same time, both select and start, I come back into cancel. So, and if we go over to MAME, I'm guessing this is just like ROMs of classic, like arcade games. I might be wrong. Please, uh, please tell me. I am wrong. If we go over to NES, let's see how many we got. We've got Contra, Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2, 90 Tanks, Tetris, Super Tetris, Maple Story, Double Dragon, all the way up to 4, Ninja Turtles up to 3, Ninja Gaiden up to 3, uh, Gundam, Night Gundam, Dragon Ball Z, Silkworm, Battlefield, what? Um, Godzilla, so, okay, we keep going down. We've got 75 more. All the Castlevanias, Jackie Chan. Like there's some weird stuff in here like Plants vs. Zombies. That definitely isn't a NES game, but uh, we'll keep going. Bomberman. All right, so it's got a lot of NES games. Keep going. How many? Oh, wow. 156, so that's like 200 combined. I think we're a little off the, the 600 mark that it was saying. So let's go into the Sega ROM folder. We've got Samurai Shodan, Golden Axe, Sonic 3. Uh, so this is on the Sega, Sega Saturn and the Sega Genesis and possibly Mega Drive as well. So it's got a lot of Sega games, I can imagine. Um, let's, let's see how many they've got. Dragon Ball Z again, Fire Shark, NBA, Roadman, Spider-Man, Splatterhouse. All right, okay, 150 again, 141, 141 Sega games. And if we go over to the Super Nintendo, let's just check out Mario Star, see how that rolls. Like this is certainly playable. Audio seems fine on the, uh, on this game. Don't know what it's like on other emulators. Like, this definitely isn't 4K. That's that's a bit of bullshit right there. But you know, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so that seems fine. And if I do the double press, you can actually save game. And if I click OK, will it ask me? Okay, that's pretty cool. So I can either save on local storage or SD card. So that's good to know. So perhaps I don't know. We'll try it in a minute. Uh, if I put in an SD card, can I load up an old save from a different retro handheld? or a retro console. So let's try uh, something else now. Let's go into what I've been anticipating is the ga uh, Game Boy Advance emulators. Let's go Crash Bandicoot 2. Start game, see what it's all about. I was gonna say, like uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 is definitely PlayStation, uh, but this is entranced Crash Bandicoot. So I think what happens is they just type in Crash Bandicoot and probably tell their, their software to grab the, the nearest image they can find to that game. That's why when I went through the menus, there are some really dodgy uh, images. Audio seems fine. And the audio's gone. And it's back, okay. And it's gone. And it's back. And it's gone. So there's some definitely, there's breaking up of the audio. But this is crazy. I'm playing a Game Boy Advance game on a 50 inch TV on a wireless controller. It's 
pretty nuts. I dig it. I like it. And like, I'm, I'm impressed by the feedback of the controller. Like, I know it's wireless. I thought this would be like a super crap wireless controller. Um, you don't have the option to use a USB, but hey, it does have a USB slot. So if you get a third party controller, maybe one from the Xbox, the fake Xbox One X, you might be able to do that. All right, let's come out of this and now let's try putting in an SD card with some of my own ROMs on. Okay, I'm gonna see what happens when I just slot this in the back. That's what she said. I don't know if I have to restart it or... Okay, it's... Oh, okay, so it just comes up instantly. All right, interesting. Was not expecting that. I thought I would have to restart, so that's good to know. Um, so I've got some Game Boy Advance ROMs on there. Got some NES ROMs on there. And that's about it, but that makes sense. So I can already tell it's made two versions of the ROM. Uh, let's try this one. So let's load up Pokemon Fire Red. And I think I have a load for this, but I may be wrong. So let me see if it, aha, okay. So it knows I've got, I think it knows. Yes, it knows that I've already got a save game in it, which is really good. So that was from a different retro console as well so it reads it no audio though this might no i remember it having audio on the other retro console so i think it might be due to a dodgy hdmi cable or the console just doesn't like outputting audio on some roms um this seems to be playing fine uh, if I bring up the menu, what can it do? Okay, cancel. Oh no, that would leave. Damn it. But if I go into settings, sound output. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was on. That's a bit weird. Button mapping, screen size. Shall I go original size? Let's see what happens there when I load that back up. No way of speeding it up which is a little bit disappointing. I would have liked to play Pokemon sped up, but hey, let's go back in and see if it loads original scale. I think that's a little bit, oh no, that, oh boy, that, yeah, that is definitely squished. Uh, okay, let's come out of that again. Is there any way I can just get straight to options? No, so I have to like come out, go okay, go into settings, go back to screen size, we'll go full screen, actually no, we'll go scale, we'll scale it, and we'll load up that again, and it should, there we go, that's what I was looking for. So if you go scale, oh, I heard audio, and it's gone. So this is much better. Scaled is the way to go, not full screen. Um, so yeah, I'm playing Pokemon Fire Red, with saves on a wireless controller. That's pretty cool. Audio is definitely a no-no, and the fact that it has already pre-installed um, certain games that aren't in English, uh, but you can get around that by installing your own. Let's see if it loads up The Legend of Zelda. Didn't like that one. What about this one? Start game. Okay, there we go. The Legend of Zelda is here. If I come back out, so you can also save that as well. I think it does like free saves, so it just lays, it saves exactly where you you are. You are, so screen size. I'm gonna go scale because I prefer that, and then start game. Look at that. Oh man, that's pretty cool. And as you can tell, the audio is fine on this. So it's definitely certain ROMs that it just doesn't like. But yeah, this is nuts. Playing the OG Zelda. And I'm impressed by the feedback of this controller. Like it feels awful, but like it's, I'm playing with an analog stick. That's awesome. Okay, I'm kind of impressed with this, but uh, we'll take it back to the, the desk now. Oh, and I'll kind of give you my end opinions or just, just a roundup. So for 40 pounds, like, is it worth it? What would I prefer? I, like, 
back when you could get the Xbox, the fake Xbox One S, I obviously that was cabled controller, so that wasn't as good. This is going full wireless, which is pretty cool. Um, the built-in ROMs wasn't as good as I expected, and a lot of them are Japanese. Um, you do get some lagging on certain emulators, like the Sega emulator, I was getting a little bit of lag on. Uh, and like the design aspect, they're definitely going for that fake PS4 look, but I kind of dig it. I've seen a lot uglier retro consoles on the market. It's got HDMI. I did have a lot of issues with the audio though. Um, so you know what, I probably like wouldn't pick it up for 40 quid. If it was less, possibly, but you know, uh, it might be just this unit with the dodgy audio. Um, but you know, like I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in the comments below, is it worth 40 quid? You can play your own ROMs, you can go truly wireless, you can change the aspect ratio. So I found it pretty cool that I had this on my huge TV and this wireless controller and I was just on my couch just playing Pokemon or Super Mario with a wireless controller. You know, that felt kind of weird. I don't think I've done that before. Um, but yeah, you know, tell me in the comments below what you think. And as usual, I appreciate you watching. I've got a cool uh, video coming up on possibly a fake Nintendo Switch and maybe a fake DS. So definitely hit subscribe. If not, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.